What's up guys, in this video I want to show you my over 25 years of guitar progress with actual footage. So I grew up way up north of Sweden, in a town called Arvidsjaur. It's basically where Santa Claus lives. I had a very free upbringing and was allowed to follow my interests. My parents, who were not musicians, saw that I was very into music. I loved putting up performances and dressing up and stuff like that. As you can see, I had already found the power of the hat. Having the unconditional support from my parents helped me immensely in my guitar journey. I was given an acoustic guitar at about the age of 8 on Christmas and my parents found a Polish classical guitar teacher who gave me some lessons, you know, play C major scale. But I quickly lost interest and it was not until I was 10 and we moved to Stockholm that I began in a um, communal music school for kids where I actually started to, to learn, you know, riffs and power chords and here's a video from that time. <laughs> Here's about six months later where I had, you know, learned to bar chords and play some right hand arpeggios and I loved writing songs at this time and as you can hear I'm a genius lyricist. Some people just waiting to be dead and buried. Following two years I basically played football and computer games and a little bit of guitar. At the time I really loved Metallica, so I learned a lot of their songs and riffs. And I especially remember playing Nothing Else Matters at 13 years old in front of the whole school. It was a horrible performance, I think. I mean, I wasn't that voice changed, so it was like... Still, afterwards, the girls were kind of impressed and suddenly wanted to hang out. And that really motivated me to kind of focus a little bit more on music. And at age 14 I joined this little jazz group where we played Django Reinhardt tunes. Around that time, at 14 years old, my teacher played me a CD where a guitarist played Francisco Targa's Recuerdos de la Alhambra for classical guitar. And I was mesmerized. The piece uses a technique called tremolo, which is extremely difficult but very cool. And I just decided this is what I'm gonna do now. At 15 I actually got accepted into a music high school in Stockholm called Södra Latin and suddenly I found myself surrounded with guitarists who were better than me. Which made me jealous but also inspired me to really improve. Everyone at that school basically aimed for one thing, to be accepted into the Royal College of Music in Stockholm. So I basically locked myself in a room, gave up on sports, computer games and a social life in general and I just practiced scale. And with the help of a great teacher called Bo Hansson, I improved immensely. I want to show you a video from the first year in that school and then a video three years later where I had done nothing but practice guitar. The change is quite drastic, especially in hairstyle. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here are some of the things I practiced. Whenever I want to turn the world around me off and listen to some great music, I use the Liberty 3 Pro. Not only are they very good looking and stylish, but the amazing coaxial driver technology, known as ACAA 2.0, exclusively developed by Soundcore, delivers a sound with great quality, free from distortion, that makes you feel like you're surrounded by 360 degrees of sound. Every day I have a little meditation time here in my studio, and the absolutely best thing with these wireless earbuds is the active noise cancellation. Using something called Hear ID ANC, this noise reduction algorithm automatically adapts in response to the different environments you're in and can also be adjusted to your personal requirements, so you can always enjoy the high quality sound feeling comfortable. I highly recommend these amazing noise cancellation earbuds endorsed by 20 Grammy winning audio producers. Check them out using the link in the description. At the Royal College of Music, I now found myself surrounded by amazing musicians who could not only play fast scale, but who could also play musically. So here's a little video from that time. Too bad I didn't have a good hairdresser. Later on I continued my studies in Spain and Germany and the pieces got harder and harder. And again I found myself locked in a room practicing for hours every day. from that time is playing as a soloist with an orchestra. After those extreme types of performances in the classical world, I started to write songs again, and here's one original song that was actually the first video I posted to my YouTube channel. Come home inside. After getting my degree and returning back home, I had two years of depression, basically. I was extremely poor and I had to take this horrible teaching job, you know, teaching seven-year-old kids guitar who didn't want to play. Me and my girlfriend finally decided to just go to Paris and have an adventure. And I took a job babysitting two kids. 
So I had gone from playing in these amazing concert halls with great musicians to taking care of two crazy boys in Paris. But I found my love for Django Reinhardt's music and I went to some jam sessions and completely sucked. But I got inspired again. I started to do my own jazz arrangements on my classical guitar. <laughs> uploaded them to Instagram and I actually started to get some followers. Having followers didn't pay the rent and me and my girlfriend were expecting our daughter. Someone had told me that it's actually possible to make money as a YouTuber. That had always been a dream of mine and I actually wrote down a goal in my notepad that said I want to have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and I also want to have Patreon supporters so I can make a living as a guitarist. Then by some divine grace a big YouTube guitarist named Matthias Kranz, I'm sure you've heard of him, sent me an email asking if I could do a video for his channel. He had seen one of my videos and liked it, so I arranged summertime in 10 levels and the video got kind of viral on Reddit's video section. <laughs> I started to get like 200 new subscribers every day and I was so inspired. I devoted all my time to do YouTube videos and had an incredible amount of fun and I also started to get Patreon supporters and like one year in I had reached 100,000 subscribers and I could start to make a living as a YouTuber which was a true miracle for me. Thanks to you guys listening and especially my Patreon supporters I have been able to support my family doing what I love. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to end the video with a little comparison between 15 year old me and 35 year old me playing the same piece. Vals number 3 by Barrios.